Hello everyone and welcome to Lion Habitat Ranch and our bonus content today. So we have an extra live feed today because we were asking you guys what you wanted to see and you chose Aussie painting. So we're going to do an Aussie painting session here. Uh, we do want to say thank you to anyone who's donated or added us on Amazon Smile. You can donate right here on our Facebook. You can also go to our website at lionhabitatranch.org and you can donate directly to us. Any little bit helps, so if you want to just send a couple dollars our way, that's always greatly appreciated. Um, if you already donated or you can't donate right now, that's okay too. We understand. We would also like you to share our videos. Let everybody know just how awesome Ozzy is. He is quite the star. So, I guess without any further ado, we'll get to see him do some painting. My name is Robert, and assist. My name is Cameron. And of course, Ozzy is the real star of the show. And Caitlin. So we're gonna start with blue. Bad at introducing myself. All right, so yeah, we're working on, I think our first canvas is gonna be a little bit of blues and oranges. So, Ozzy can see in color, and he does tend to have favorite colors and least favorite colors. If he likes the colors, they usually end up on whatever we're painting. Today we got a couple eight by 10 canvases. If he doesn't like the colors, they usually end up on us or on the barn. So if you can see behind Cameron, you can see he's got a nice mural going on over there. So that day he wasn't feeling those colors so much. He's doing pretty good with blue so far, but blue actually tends to be one of his less favorite colors. But he is six and he does tend to change his mind on occasion. So one day he'll love blue and the next day not so much that's when it ends up on Cameron's face. We do like to say Ozzy ends up with, he does hair streaking, face painting, and nail polish, because whoever's holding the canvas does tend to get a little bit colorful. So in an attempt not to mix our colors quite too much today, we are gonna uh, switch up our canvases a little bit. So we'll do one more blue one on this one, and then we'll switch them up. When we are done with all of these canvases, these will be for sale, so, um, Father's Day is coming up, guys. If you guys are looking for a present for your father and you think you'd, he'd want a painting done by the one and only Jurassic Artist, you can pick these up on our website. You can actually order them. On Facebook, you can look at our albums to see all the different colors. So on here, we will upload all of his different unique paintings. All of his paintings are different. You will see if you look at our albums. And today, when we paint all four of these canvases, they're all gonna look different. If you want a particular one, check them out. They are all numbered in our albums on Facebook. And then you can order them. When you go to order on our website, just put the number of the painting you want in the comment section there. Uh, so if you saw Robert right there checking Ozzy's cheeks before he handed him the brush, Ozzy is not allowed to paint with things in his mouth. So he gets a treat after every time he paints. And sometimes he likes to pretend he's a chipmunk and hold those treats in his cheeks. Uh, we don't want him to paint with anything in his mouth because you guys probably don't want that extra texture on those canvases. Uh, people don't tend to like chewed up veggies on their canvases. And Ozzy is eating veggies. So today it looks like Robert's got some lettuce, he's got some carrots, and some apple and oat biscuits. So those are what horses eat um, as well. We call them Ozzy's cookies. But they are good for giraffes just like they're good for horses. So he gets all of those fun vegetable based foods because giraffes are herbivores which means they are strict vegetarians these guys don't eat any meat in the wild they can't process it like we can so they only eat um, plant matter question how did you teach Ozzy to paint good question all right so Ozzy is taught with positive reinforcement just like all of our animals here at the ranch that means he gets rewarded for things he does that we like so when we first started teaching Ozzy how to paint, we introduced the paintbrush to him and he would come down, he's a pretty curious guy, so every time he would touch it to figure out what it is, we would click. So if you, while Robert is painting with him, you hear him making any clicking sounds, that's his way of telling Ozzy, good job. And that what he's doing at that precise moment, right there, you can hear that click, is what Ozzy is getting paid for. So every time he actually touches the brush to the canvas, he hears that click and he knows there's a treat coming. So originally we had him touch the brush. Every time he touched the brush, he heard that click and he knew that there was a treat and that touching the brush was a good thing. So he wanted to do it more. After he got used to that, then we would start giving, start holding off on that treat until he'd actually grab the brush. Then we'd give him a treat for that. 
and it was just tiny steps from there until he was actually grabbing the brush, taking it all the way across to the canvas and putting the strokes on there. So now he gets the reward when he actually touches the canvas. You have another question? How does uh, Ozzy sleep? How does Ozzy sleep? Good question. Ozzy sleeps standing up. So Ozzy will actually lay down sometimes, but giraffes really don't sleep that much. They only sleep about a half hour to an hour a day in the wild and they don't even do that all at once. They do it in short little naps of a couple minutes at a time. They sleep standing up and often with their eyes open. This way they can look like they're still awake because these guys are prey animals. They want to avoid any predators. So they want to look like they are never vulnerable. So laying down for a giraffe is quite a process. They do take a while to lay down and they take more, even longer to stand back up. So if they do that in the wild, that could get them caught by a lion or a crocodile is their other main predator. But Ozzy here feels really safe, so he'll actually lay down on occasion. These guys don't sleep very often. All right, so it looks like Ozzy's gonna get some carrots there. It might take him a minute to chew those up. Now, next time he reaches down and he's, Robert's gonna ask him to show him his tongue because that way, Robert can know if he doesn't have any more treats in his mouth there. So he's going to stick out his tongue to show Robert he is ready for the brush and he does not hiding anything in his cheeks, even though he's pretty good at hiding things in his cheeks now. But you can see that nice long tongue when he reaches down for the brush. Giraffe's tongues actually grow one inch for every foot in height they grow. And that purple color that you see on there actually acts as a natural sunscreen. So these guys are born with that purple colored tongue and that protects them from the sun because giraffes mostly spend most of their day eating out of, they don't sleep much, right? So they eat most of, out of the tall trees and they need some protection from the sun. Question. How old is Ozzy? How old is Ozzy? Ozzy is six. He just had a birthday in March and he acts like it. So <laughs> like I was saying, he is six and he does like certain colors better than other colors and he changes his mind quite frequently. That applies to treats and things as well. If anyone knows any six-year-olds, you know how they change their mind quite frequently. So the same thing works with Ozzy. Question. Does he have any company or does he like to be by himself? All right, well, we're pretty sure Ozzy loves to be by himself because he wants all of the attention. But actually, in the wild, these guys, the males usually run solitary. They just come in to breed with the herds of females and they take off again. So it's the females that really run in the herds. The males are pretty solitary anyway. So Ozzy would be pretty used to being on his own in the wild, but here he is all by himself and he's pretty happy to have it that way. He doesn't want to share any of the treats or any of the attention. <laughs> He is very happy to be spoiled by us. He is a very spoiled giraffe. Speaking of which, it does get pretty hot here. So you guys might be wondering how Ozzy does when it's so hot out. So actually, Ozzy likes it pretty warm because he is from Africa, or he's kinder from Africa. And, um, but however, he does have air conditioning. So he's got a couple AC units in there that keep him nice and cool when the sun is hot and also in the winter when it gets cold that's when Ozzy doesn't like it quite as much in fact we give him the choice if you can see the barn that he's in right now is his sheltered area where he has his AC and also where he has um, his heaters in the winter and then outside he's got a whole long run to run around in and play in and you saw that open door right there that lets Ozzy have access to both the inside and the outside. In the winter when it's cold, sometimes we'll open that door, let Ozzy choose whether he wants to go in or out, and he'll stick his little nose out and say, mm -mm, no thank you, too cold, I'll stay in today. So uh, we do keep him in and he has a heated floor and some heaters to keep his barn nice and warm in the winter time. Question. How long do giraffes live? How long do giraffes live? So giraffes live about 30 years in captivity. Um, in the wild, it's a little bit closer to 20. They're not all animals, most animals anyway, um, that are in human care do live a little bit longer just because we are able to give them things that they're not getting in the wild. In the wild, they have to compete for space and food. And it, here, they are, everything is provided for them. They have veterinary care. Um, they have everything they could possibly need, as you can see by Ozzy's treats he's getting right now. And so they live a little bit longer. Uh, just like us, if you were to drop us off in the middle of nowhere, we'd have a lot harder time surviving. So these guys usually live a bit longer in captivity, or in human care, where we take good care of them. 
All right, looks like we are working on orange now. So we've been doing a lot of blues, but we're gonna add some orange to this canvas. Ozzy usually likes orange. Although we do like to say his favorite colors are usually purple and yellow. Oh, that's a pretty one. I like it. Yeah, and you guys were giving me all this slack about picking those we colors. Denise, uh, Denise did some research for this painting session and she decided that uh, online she found out that the most popular colors are oranges and blues apparently and we were teasing her that these weren't going to look good together but I guess we have to concede that she did a good job. They look beautiful. Again, Father's Day presents. Good choice. Yes, question. After all the noise. Yeah, after the helicopter goes by. Oh, airplane. Sorry. <laughs> um, Heather's daughter Izzy is asking what are the giraffe's predators? Oh, good question. So lions are one of the giraffe's predators as well as crocodiles. So these guys to drink water, you can see they're nice and tall, they have to bend that long neck all the way down to the ground and spread their legs out wide to reach the water. This gives lions and crocodiles the opportunity to attack that they wouldn't otherwise have. Because the giraffes are really good at avoiding predators, they're really large, they can see really far away so they can see when the danger is coming, and they can run really fast. So these guys can run up to about 37 miles per hour, and they can run faster than lions and crocodiles. So those predators have to wait for the giraffe to bend down to drink the water until they can actually reach out and grab them. So that's the time when they're most vulnerable but these guys are pretty good at avoiding predators. Really, their biggest threat is us. So unfortunately, giraffes are actually on the endangered species list. Uh-oh, helicopter. This time it is a helicopter. We'll wait for that to pass. <laughs> so, giraffes are on the endangered species list. These guys are losing rapidly losing their numbers by up to about 80% in less than the last 20 years. And that's due to us. It's due to habitat loss, hunting, and poaching. So Ozzy is here. He is acting as an animal ambassador for the giraffes in the wild. So everyone knows just how amazing giraffes are. And we want to keep them around for a long time to come. Do we have a question? We do. From your mom, actually. From my mom. Okay, what's mom? mom? Uh, I know the lions make quite a bit of noise. Does Ozzy react to that? Ah, yes. So, no. <laughs> Yeah, so Ozzy uh, doesn't really care. So we do have 31 lions on property, and a lot of people are curious about uh, whether Ozzy cares or not about having so many predators around, since lions are their top predators. Uh, he knows he's safe, so he doesn't really mind having them roar quite at all. In fact, these guys can get really loud because we have so many of them in one place. Um, you actually, they roar for each other. So in the wild, they'll do a call, kind of letting each other know, this is my territory, I'm in it, and nobody else needs to be here. So these guys do it too. They're like, I'm in my yard, you're in your yard, we're all good. So all 31 of them sometimes will sound up and make a really loud roar. And Ozzy really doesn't care too much. <laughs> he, uh, he just thinks he's the coolest thing around, and he's the star of the show, and nothing's gonna bother him. So. Most that looks really good. Sounds. That one does look really good. All right, Denise. All right, you get to pick the colors. It's beautiful. Uh, yeah, so we will have these paintings available uh, for purchase afterwards. We'll tell you all of the numbers. So if you like a particular Aussie painting that you saw him paint today, you can choose that when you go to check out. Like I said, Father's Day is coming up. If you guys, you know, didn't give any Mother's Day presents out to your mothers, you missed that one. I'm sure they'd be happy. And uh, a holiday I just learned about is apparently Brother's Day is tomorrow. So, you know, if you're looking for a painting for your brother, I don't think my brother wants an Aussie painting. Um, but I know almost all of my other family members have one. <laughs> so they do make really good gifts. Um, my mom has one. My mother-in-law has one. And it looks like we are wrapping up our paintings. So, he's making some pink, looks like. Mm -hmm. he's mixing his pink and orange. Oh, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It is a sunset. I like it. It's like a beach sunset. <laughs> Denise is shaking her head at me because I was giving her so much problems for the color she chose. Yes. Another question from Izzy How did he start painting and how does he like it? Um, Ozzy really likes to paint, so it's actually one of his favorite things, so we do have to keep painting with him while we're closed because usually he's used to painting four times a day when you guys get to come and see us. So 
Uh, now that we're closed, we're trying to paint with him semi-often because he really misses it. Uh, he loves to come over and paint. He started painting with us uh, when he was pretty young and he, he loves, he gets all the treats, he gets all of the attention. It is absolutely one of his favorite things. All right, so it looks like Ozzy is about done though. So Robert's gonna go ahead and ask him for a bow. Round of applause, great job Ozzy! He, li he likes to ham it up, so he wants us all to clap for him. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, good job. You heard Robert made that nice clicking sound for that as well. So, but Ozzy knows that he did a good job with that bow and he is all done. So we'll check out our paintings. All right, so we got a couple of different colors and you can see they all look completely different. So we are gonna number these and they will be on our Facebook album. You guys can add the number on the comments if you do want them. You can add the number to the comments when you go to purchase them on our website, lionhabitatranch.org. And we are gonna number these, I believe, 80, 81, 82, and 83. So we'll put those, I think Denise also adds them to the comments. So we'll put these in the comments as well as on our album on Facebook with their corresponding numbers. So you guys know which one, if you did want one of the ones you got to see him paint today. So um, thanks for checking in with us. Thanks for hanging out with Ozzy and thanks for taking part in our poll. Since you guys are the ones who chose you wanted to see Ozzy, uh, we'll have some more fun stuff for you. Thanks again for all of your donations. Any of the people who've added us on Amazon Smile, that really helps out. I know my mom was just telling me she shared us and had some a friend of hers add it to their Amazon Smile. So um, yeah, if you guys have already donated or already added us to your Amazon Smile, but you have friends and family that haven't heard of us and don't know what we're doing here, please share our videos, let them know. All, the, all of that helps, sharing our posts and giving us any little bit of money that you can spare really helps us out since we are missing out on those ticket sales. So we do wanna say thank you again for keeping in contact with us and thank you for all of your support. We'll see you next time.